Welcome to Automation of the Week. I'm Brian Hayes. Every Tuesday, we'll release another video showing you step-by-step -step how to build out an automation in Salesforce or Marketing Cloud Account Engagement to help improve your business. This week, I'm gonna show you how to use topics within Salesforce and then how to assign topics automatically to records. So topics is one of those features that a lot of people don't know about. So let me just show it to you first and then I'll show you how to automate it. So on the account record here, I've added the topics component. And a topic is essentially, it's a tag within Salesforce. And so you can add a bunch of different tags or topics to records in Salesforce to give you another way of grouping them and organizing these records. So in this case, I've added the topics section to the details tab here within Salesforce and I added VIP. So easy way for me to see all of my accounts that are tagged with VIP. But you can type in any sort of tag here you know, or topic and apply it to this account. For example, maybe they're an account we used in a testimonial and I wanna easily be able to track that within Salesforce. I'll just add testimonial here and hit enter and that creates the new topic and applies it to this account. Now for either one of these topics, you can click on them. It'll go to this topic page where you can see any chatter posts that have that topic mentioned or any records that are tagged with that topic. So here's the testimonial one. If I click back, we can look at the same thing for VIP. With VIP though, I also used it in a chatter post. So it works in both of these areas. You can apply that topic to a record or you can use that tag within a chatter post and those posts will show up here too. It's a really flexible way to group records without having to create new fields and, and a lot of structured data. So it's something I recommend that individual people within an organization use because it's very lightweight and you don't have to get a lot of people involved to find these different ways of grouping accounts or opportunities. So what I'm gonna show you today is how you can apply a topic automatically using Flow. For our use case today, let's use opportunities. Let's say if you've got an opportunity that is above a certain amount, we'll want to apply a topic to that opportunity so we can easily find them and group them together. This topic might be big deal, VIP, high value target, you know, those sorts of things. So it's easy to find those most important deals. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is actually add the topic component to the opportunity. So it's easy to see when something has the topic assigned and easy to remove that topic too, if needed. So go ahead and pull up an opportunity record and then click the gear in the upper right hand corner and click edit page. This is where you're gonna find that topics component. On the left hand side here, we have all these components. You'll see topics towards the bottom. Go ahead and click and hold and drag that onto your screen. You can put this component wherever you'd like. I'm gonna put it on the right sidebar for now. Then click save to save your changes and hit back. Now we could add topics manually to this opportunity if we wanted to. To do this automatically, let's create a flow. Click the gear in the upper right hand corner, click on setup, and then search for flows. Click on the flows menu and click new flow. This will be a record triggered flow because we want it to apply whenever we have an opportunity above a certain amount. And so our object will be the opportunity object. And our trigger, we only want this to apply, you know, either when the record is created or updated would be fine. And when the amount is greater than, let's say a million dollars. And I only want this to run when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements. We don't need this running all the time if the topic has already been applied to that opportunity. And we'll want to optimize this for actions and related records. Then click done. The next thing to understand is that there's actually three different records at play here. There's the topic record, the topic assignment record, and then there's the opportunity record in this case. Or it could be any other record that you want to apply the topic to. What we're going to do is create a topic assignment record it's a junction object that stands in between the topic and that opportunity, or again, whatever that other record might be. So the first thing we need to do is find out what's the ID of the topic we want to apply. So let's do a get step so that we can get that topic record just so we can have the ID for use later. So I'm gonna call this get VIP topic because that's the topic I want to apply. And under object, search for topic, and then for field, go ahead and select name. The value that we want is VIP, and we just wanna get the first record. We can also choose fields and let Salesforce do the rest because we don't need much. All we need is the ID, click done, and then our next step will be to create a record. And we're gonna create that topic assignment. So I'll call this create assignment record, and we'll select separate resources and literal values, 
search for topic assignment. There's the object. And we only have three different options here, entity ID, network ID, and topic ID. Entity ID is going to be our opportunity ID. Topic ID is the ID of our topic, which we just found out from our last get step. The network ID is actually referring to Experience Cloud. In case you have multiple portals and things connected to your Salesforce org, you might have the same topic in multiple networks. In our case though, we don't have any Experience Cloud sites to worry about, so you can just ignore that. We'll choose Entity ID. And the topic ID we can get from our get step. Go to the get VIP topic record, and there's the ID right there. Click done, click save, give this a name. So now let's test it. Let's find an opportunity that's gonna meet our criteria. We'll choose this renewal opportunity here. Looks like our amount field is just $10,000. So we're gonna to need to increase that a bit. I'm gonna change that to one million and one dollars. There we go, that is greater than a million bucks, so it should trigger our flow. Let's come back in here. We haven't activated this yet, so we'll hit debug first. Choose that opportunity and click run. We can see it went through the process without any errors. If we look at our last step here, it was gonna create a record related to this ID and related to this topic ID. That looks good. Now let's hit activate. Click to activate and we can see how it works. I'm gonna edit this opportunity so that it no longer fits our, our criteria. And then I'll edit it again so it will fit our criteria. And if you look in the lower right hand corner, no topics have been applied to this opportunity yet. But if you hit save and then refresh the screen, you'll see it now shows up. There's that VIP topic added automatically to this opportunity. Again, you can click through that topic and you can click on related here and see all the opportunities or accounts or whatever the records are that have that particular tag. So topics are a really useful way to more casually group different records together. And it's something that you might not yet be using. Comes in handy, especially when you combine it with automation. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click like and hit subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.